having seen the forecast for the temperatures as we run through this week, and I suggest if you've got some tender plants, you might want to do the same thing. So it'll certainly be decidedly cold, as will be tomorrow, but otherwise a fairly benign day tomorrow, expecting it to be dry. The best of the sunshine tending to be out a bit further west that you happen to be. This uh, set up then as we run through the rest of this week, a fairly slack pattern into tomorrow. This block of colder air remains very much in situ. Out towards the west, the Atlantic fronts remain very much in situ, as indeed will be the story as we head through towards Wednesday. The slacker winds, probably a bit of fog around as well, but otherwise uh, a cold, sort of crisp winter's day. By Thursday, getting a little bit more complex as the front edge a little bit closer, a breezier day, probably more in the way of cloud around. We expect it to stay dry. As we head into Friday, though, albeit with a lot of uncertainty, we expect the Atlantic will encroach further, and this starts to give a classic setup, what we call a battleground setup, of where the mild, wet Atlantic air is fighting with that colder air, and it could be a recipe for some significant snow. So we need to do, uh, keep a close eye on that. But for the rest of this evening, we have some showers feeding down from the northwest. No review have already seen those. They've been falling as rain so far. As the night wears on, there'll be an increased tendency to bring some of those as snow anywhere above 200 metres over, say, the Mendips, the Quantocks, the Brendan Hills in particular. Elsewhere should be dry. Widespread ice threat, though, where we've had those showers this evening. Met Office does have a warning out for that. And it's unsurprising because it will be cold. Temperatures typically from about zero to about minus three. So a cold start tomorrow, some ice and untreated surfaces. The rest of the day, as I mentioned, more generally in the way of cloud further eastwards. I think even here it will break up as the day wears on in the way of sunshine out towards the west perhaps one or two showers just skirting the extreme west of our viewing area somewhere like Lynmouth for example but elsewhere we expect it to remain dry and it will once again be cold temperatures typically about one to plus three at least not much wind to add some wind chill to things and as we head through the rest of the week as I alluded to in the charts earlier it becomes an increasingly threatening wintry setup the temperatures speak for themselves and I think we'll see some rural spots well below that maybe minus fours minus fives that's as we get later on perhaps one or two snow showers over high ground Thursday night into Friday Friday has the uncertainty it's definitely going to be one to keep up to date with this on as it could be quite a